Yeah, share and Micah behind the surplus, fifty-five billion dollars more in tax revenue than officials were expecting in January. And Governor Newsom is pushing to get some of it back in the hands of Californians struggling with rent and with those high prices at the pump. It's just shy of one hundred billion dollars simply without precedent. Governor Newsom today revealing state coffers are set to be overflowing with taxpayer cash. No other state in American history has ever experienced a surplus as large as this. Newsom wants more than 18 billion of it dedicated to helping Californians battling inflation everywhere from the grocery store to the pump. You know, everything is so expensive. The governor's proposal includes $400 rebates for every registered vehicle owner capped at two, at least $1,000 bonuses for hospital and nursing home workers, free public transportation for three months, money for past due utility bills, minimum wage goes to $1,550 next year. He wants to suspend diesel fuel tax for 12 months and offer billions in emergency rental assistance for low income tenants. This driver says he's hoping for that extra 400 bucks. I'll probably say for Yes, we do need some extra money for that. That, that. I think that's great. As for the budget surplus, analysts say a disproportionate amount coming from the state's highest earners. The governor reports the share of capital gains tax on investment profits in 2021 is set to be double the average and around the same share seen just before the dot com bust. For those that are concerned about that, they're right to be concerned about that. But some critics point to the tax burden coming from other areas too. Highest state sales tax rate in America, and everybody knows that we have the highest gas tax in America. He says the surplus is a reminder of all that. I think what people need to realize it's taxpayer money, and we believe a big chunk of it should go back to taxpayers. How likely is a reversal of fortune in the coming years? An independent analysis found a simulation of 10,000 possible state revenue scenarios resulted in shortfalls 95% of the time. Okay, so when it comes to Newsom's inflation plan, those $400 payments to registered vehicle owners are a sticking point. Democrats in the legislature, which have the majority, they have been pushing for the payments to be based on income. So expect negotiations in the coming weeks over who gets that money. Now, the legislature does have to approve the budget plan, and it takes effect July 1st. That's the latest live here in Hollywood. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.